this is our problem number six for moment of inertia of geometric shapes. Determine the moment of inertia of the cross-sectional area with respect to x prime and y prime axis. Yan. So, ito yung ating figure. Naka-3D siya. And, medyo nakakalito siya kung dito tayo mag-ano eh. Uh, or ito yung gagamitin natin. So, ang ginawa ko is, uh, nag-drawing ulit ako ng naka-2D lamang. Okay, so, ito yung ano niya, section. So, sabi niya rito, uh, x prime and y, ax, uh, y prime daw. Pero, wala naman siyang nilagay na location ng y prime and x prime. And that, uh, that location is x bar and y bar. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan muna natin kunin yung centroids, okay? Or yung location ng ating centroids with respect to x axis and y axis using Varignon's theorem. Or using our chapter 6. Okay? So, um, ang gawin natin, maghati-hati muna tayo ng area. So, this is our area 1. Okay. Or natin pulay green. Ah, sorry. Area 1. Okay. Then, ito, gawin itong ano, area 2. So, gawin natin pulay blue. Area 2. Then, this is our area 3. Ayan. So, para sa area 1, ang centroids niya ay nandito. Okay. Then, uh, since yung ating y prime, uh, sorry, y bar is with respect to x axis, dapat lahat ng ating ano, y bar ay with respect to x axis. So, this is y1. Then, this is our x1. So, dapat with respect to y. So, x1. Next, area 2. Ito yung kanyang centroids. Naka, nasa kalahati ng 140. Ayan. So, this is our y2 I'm sorry dito na talaga yan so this is our y2 then um ito naman yung ating x2 next yung ating area 3 yung nasa baba okay so ito yung ating ano um centroids para sa area 3 so, ito yung kanyang, ano, y3. Then, ito naman yung kanyang x3. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin sa problem number 2, lahat yan kukunin natin. Okay? So, for area 1, that is equivalent to what? This is, ano, no, 100. So, 30 plus, ano, 70. So, 100 times 30. So, this is 3,000. So, millimeter squared. So, if, ano natin, store na rin natin agad-agad. So, 100 times 30. Okay, sa alpha A. Then, um, X1. Ang X1 natin ito, kalahati ng 100, hindi ba? So, 100 over 2. So, this is 50 millimeters. Then, Y1. Ang Y1 natin is what? Okay, so, if this is 140, ayan, and this is 30, Ang y1 natin, or yung centroids ng ating area 1 ay nasa kalahati ng 30, di ba? So, 140 plus 30 is 170. So, 170 plus 30 over 2. So, ilan ba yan? So, 170 plus 30 over 2. So, 185. Okay. Next, area 2. Area 2 natin is 140 ang height. Then, ang thickness is 30. So, 140 times 30. So, gawin ito alpha. Sorry, ito pala alpha A. Okay, ito naman ay alpha B. So, 140 times 30. Alpha B. So, 42. So, millimeter is squared. So, yung ating x2 is kalahati ng 30. So, 15 millimeters. Next, ang ating namang y2 is ano? Okay. Kalahati ng 140 plus 30. So, 140 over 2 plus 30. So, ilan to? Tama ba? 100. Kasi, ang 140 is what? 70. Then, plus 30. 
Okay, 100. Okay. Next, area 3. So, ang area 3 natin, gawin natin alpha C. Area 3 natin is 170 plus 30, that is 200. Times thickness, 30. Ito yung thickness. Okay, ayan. Okay. So, ilan to? 200 times 30. Then, alpha C. Okay. So, uh, sorry, store C. So, 6,000. Okay, millimeter squared. Nakasin na ba siya? Okay. Then, X3. X3 natin ay kalahati ng ano? 200. So, 200 over 2. So, 100 millimeter. Then, ang ating Y3 ay kalahati ng 30. So, 30 over 2. So, 15. millimeters. Ayan. So, makukuha na natin yung ating um, X bar. X bar is equivalent to area 1 multiplied by X1 plus area 2 X2 plus area 3 X3 over area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. So, this is X bar. So, ganun din ang ating ano, y bar. Copy na lang natin to. Ayan. Then, palitan lang natin to. So, this is y1, y2, and y3. So, y bar. Okay? So, alpha A multiplied by x1, which is 50. Plus alpha B multiplied by X2, 15. Plus alpha C multiplied by X3, 100. Okay? Over alpha A plus alpha B plus alpha C. Then equal sign na lang. Okay? So, 61.59. So, 61.59 millimeters. Then, pata na natin to. Yung X1, gawin natin siyang uh, Y1, 185. Then, Y2, 100. Then, Y3, 15. So, this is 80.68. So, 80.68 millimeters. Okay? Then, makukuha na natin yung ating ano, uh, D1, uh, D1X and D2X. Uh, sorry, D1X and D1Y. Ang gagawin, na, ang gagawin natin doon, um, imaminus na natin yung ano, um, X bar. Ah, sorry. Ima-minus lang natin yung ating x1 dito sa ating x bar. Minus naman natin yung y1 dito sa ating y bar para makuha yung d1y and then d1x. Okay? So, doon na lang yung sa, ano, sa equation ng moment of inertia. So, ano naman gagawin natin? I-shade na rin natin to. Okay. Ayan. Okay. So, ano nang gagawin natin? Okay. So, sub natin yung ix prime. So, ang ating ix prime is equivalent to ix prime 1 plus ix prime 2 plus ix prime 3. Okay. So, sub natin yung ating ix prime 1. Ayan. So, ang ating area is rectangle. Okay. So, ibig sabihin ng kanyang ix bar is... Ano, BH cube over 12. So, since ang nakaparallel sa ating X prime is yung, uh, yung 70 plus 30, so that is 100, so that is the base. Okay? Then, ang nakaperpendicular sa kanya is 30, so yun yung kanyang height. Cube over 12. Then, plus area, so area 1. Then, uh, take note ulit ha, huwag nyo kakalimutan. So, since X prime tayo, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin na distance papunta sa ating x prime is yung mga y uh, bar okay or mga distances in terms of y axis okay or y dimension so ngayon ang gagamitin natin ngayon dito is yung y prime minus y1 okay so 100 times 30 cube over 12 plus area 1 ang area 1 natin is alpha a Then, multiplied by y bar. Ang y bar natin is 80.68. 
Then, minus y1. Ang y1 natin is 185 squared. Okay? Yan. So, this is 32.88. So, 32.88 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Okay? Next, ang ating uh, ix prime 2 is equivalent to b is cubed over 12 then. Pero, iba na yung kanyang ano, uh, orientation. Nakatayo na yung ating ano eh, area 2. So, ang parallel sa ating ano, x prime is yung 30. So, that is the base. Ang perpendicular na sa kanya is yung 140 so that is the height so cube over 12 okay ayan then plus area 2 multiplied by y bar then minus y2 so this is squared ayan so pagta natin to gawin natin siyang 30 then gawin natin tong ano uh, 140 then alpha b okay then y uh, y bar minus y2. Ang y2 natin ay 100. Then squared. Okay, so this is 8.43. Times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Next, um, ix prime 3. So base cube over 12 ulito. Uh, ang kanyang base is 200. Ang kanyang height ay 30. Over 12. Plus area 3 multiplied by y bar. Okay, this is the y bar minus y3. Then squared. So ito, 200. Then alpha b. Ah, sorry. Alpha c. Okay. Then 80.68 minus, okay, 15. So, 26.33. Balikan natin yung ix prime 2. Okay, parang hindi ko napalitan yung alpha b. So, check natin. Okay, napalitan na pala natin. Okay. Ayan, so pag-add na lang natin. 32.88 plus 8.43 plus 26.33. So, this is our ix prime. So, 67.64. Times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Ayan. So next, isolve naman natin yung ating IY prime. So sa IY prime, ang gagamitin natin dyan ay mga x dis distances. Okay. So solve natin. So IY prime is equivalent to IY prime 1 plus i y prime 2 plus i y prime 3 so i y prime 1 is equivalent to b h cube okay so with respect to y prime ang parallel para sa ating area 1 is yung 30 at ang height niya okay yung perpendicular sa kanya ay 100 so cube over 12 plus area 1 multiplied by x bar na okay Minus x1 squared. So, nasan yung ano kanina? O, ito na lang. So, magbabalik na sila. So, 30, then 100. Tapos, ito magbabago na rin. So, x bar, ang x bar natin is 61.59 minus x1 which is 50. Okay, so this is 2.90. Times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Next, ang ating IY prime 2 is equivalent to Okay, ang parallel para sa Y prime is yung 140. So that is the base. Ang height na ngayon niya is 30. So cube over 12 plus area 2 multiplied by x bar minus x2 squared. So 140. Oh, sorry. Na lang pala na. So, this is uh, 140, then 30. Then, alpha B. Then, X2 is 100. Ah, sorry. X2 is 15. So, this is 9.43. Times 10 raised to 6. Millimeter to the fourth. Next, ang ating IY prime 3 is equivalent to. Ang base niya is 30. 
ang height nito is 200. Okay? So, cube over 12 plus area 3 multiplied by x bar minus x3 squared. So, this is 200. Then, this is alpha C. Then, x bar minus uh, x3, which is 100. So, this is 28.85. Oops, sorry. So, times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Okay. So, makuha natin yung ating IY prime. So, 2.90 plus 9.43 plus 28.85. So, 41.18 times 10 raised to 6 uh, millimeter to the fourth. Ayan. Okay? So, dito nakita ninyo kung gano'ng kahalaga yung pag store ng mga value sa mga available letters ating calculator. Okay, and at the same time, napakahalaga rin na talagang iisa-isahin natin yung mga value na to. Yung x1, y1, okay? Kasi, siya rin naman yung gagamitin natin para makuha yung mga distances. Okay, itong mga to. Ayan, itong mga distances na to. Okay, uh, with respect to x prime and y prime axis. Kaya nga, uh, uh, suggestion ko or recommendation ko para sa inyo, since nagpa-practice kayo na mag-solve ng moment of inertia, eh, mas maganda, hati-hati inyo rin talaga siya. Anyway, nung ako naman nag-review ako ng board exam, ganito rin naman ang ginagawa ko. Pati nung ano, nagsusolve din ako during board exam, ganito rin yung ginagawa ko, hinahati-hati ko yung area. And hindi naman ako nauubusan ng oras. Okay? So, ayan. Yun yung recommendation ko para sa inyo dito sa uh, moment of inertia. So, this is our problem number 6 for moment of inertia of geometric shapes. So, thank you for watching. Bye.